Dota things I wish I knew before. You can ruin Witch Doctor game with an iron branch. Whenever he uses shard ability, plant a tree on top of it and he will get stuck forever. Very fine. Same thing with Rubik. What's over there? This trick is for all illusion heroes or with Manta style. With this trick, you will be able to automatically control all illusions at once without selecting all of them in the middle of a fight. To do this, go to Options and check the box, Auto Select Summoned Units. Make a this will help you do more damage immediately because they will also attack your target with you. If you want to split your hero from the illusions with one button, go to Options, Hotkeys, Advanced, and make a hotkey for select all other units. This trick for solo players who doesn't want to play against parties, since sometimes they can be rude or ruin your game, or maybe worst, playing against Smurfs. To avoid queuing against party players, go to Options, Advanced, and check the box Solo Rule Queue Matchmaking. Now you will never have to worry again about party Smurfs. If you watch What the Fuck moments a lot, you probably saw some of these people who got stuck on the cliff and abandoned the game. So I'm going to show you what to do if you got pulled on a cliff by Magnus or Tiny. If you're TP on cooldown, buy four iron brunches and use them on top of you and you will be free. This trick is next level stacking for TA. Only 5% of pro players know about this. In case you were late or you want to stack from high ground, plant a trap behind the camp and hit it, and it will hit the creeps behind it. This can also work on different camps. This trick is for TA players. If you were farming and busy, and one of your team is chasing someone or getting chased, but you are not paying attention, you can make your own team use your traps. Go to your party tap and press on shared unit control options and check the boxes under unit. This will make your team use your traps without your permission. This can also work with other heroes like Juggernaut Healing Ward. For this trick is how to free yourself from Disruptor Kinetic Field. Buy an Iron Branch and move yourself to the edge of the Kinetic Field and use it on top of yourself. This will let you in or out, depends on the situation. How to never miss any rays again with Shadow Fiend. Sometimes it's hard to hit a raise when the enemy is on high ground or a bit far from you, but with this hotkey you can make it much easier. Go to hotkeys, advanced, and on directional move place any key you want. So whenever you press that key with right click, your hero will face at the courser, which will make it easy to hit raises on enemies. Yes. This trick is for couriers. 
So if you have only one slot empty and got two items in the courier, for example a BKB and Iron Branch, but you want the courier to give you the BKB in that empty slot. The way to do this, you want to put the BKB or the item that you want inside the bottom extra slots on the courier. This can save you in some fights instead of waiting six seconds for the item to be ready to use. You can retarget Witch Doctor Ulti on different enemies in the fight. Very simple. Press on the Death Ward while active and right click the target you want to swap on. These two tips will help you getting better last hits and denies. Go to Options, Advanced, and check the Smart Attack Move box. Whenever you press A on Creep, you will see a big circle around the Creep you targeting. This will help you know which Creep you will hit. For better denying, go to Options and press on right-click Allies to deny box. Like this, you don't have to press A to attack low HP creeps. You can just right-click it like an enemy creep to deny. And that was it for this video. Hope you learned something new. Give this video a like and subscribe for more tips and tricks in the future. Have a nice day.